Hi everyone, my name is Danny Delaloy. I'm a geological engineer and I'm really excited to be here to tell you about what I do. I'm a tunnel engineer. I design tunnels for a living. I did both my undergrad and my master's degree in geological engineering at Queen's University. And I've been working out in Vancouver for about eight years now for an engineering consulting company called Mott McDonald, specifically working in the world of tunnels. I like to think of engineering as solving problems. Well, I'm glad you asked because it's something that I had no idea what it was when I was in high school. Geological engineers study geology and also engineering. So we're similar to something like a civil engineer or a mining type engineer, but we look specifically at problems to do with the ground. Um, this could be anything from foundations, landslides, tunnels, dams, pretty much anything that gets built in the ground, a geological engineer has something to do with it. Well, first of all, let's talk about how I got into engineering. When I was in high school, I didn't know engineering was a thing. I grew up thinking that I wanted to be a competitive swimmer, that I wanted to be a veterinarian, that I wanted to be a reconstructive plastic surgeon. I had all these things in mind, thinking that I would do something related to science and math. Then in high school, I went to a career fair one day and they had the booth set up in the gym and there was a booth for the Department of Science and there was a booth for the Department of Engineering. And that was the first time that I learned that engineering was a different discipline at university than science. So I talked to each of them. I learned that engineering was about the application of math and science, about really learning how you can use those as tools to solve problems. And that really resonated with me and I was sold. So I applied to engineering at a few different universities and I ended up going to Queen's University in Kingston, Ontario. In my first year there, I took a course in geological engineering and from, right from there, I knew that it was the best thing for me. Uh, I married my love of rocks that I had from a kid from picking up rocks on the beach. I had a massive rock collection as a kid, never knowing that it was something that I could make a career out of and also my love for the outdoors. So as a geological engineer, I get to spend time in the field, be it the remote field where I'm hiking around mountains, doing helicopter work up in very remote areas or on construction sites locally right here in the city. I went back to do a master's because I really wanted to specialize in tunneling and I found that having that master's let me get my foot in the door to the tunneling industry. My thesis was looking at how we could use 3D laser scanners to try and measure the deformation, so squeezing in tunnels over time. And I got a lot out of it. I got to travel to Europe a couple times. I went to uh, Greece to do a course where we toured around a whole bunch of different tunnels, seeing all sorts of different tunnel construction methods. I did a course where we traveled around Switzerland, Austria, Italy, and Germany, where we looked at tunnels, dams, and landslides. And I got to go to Sweden to do some research and present at a conference, to Norway for a couple weeks for some research. Really got a lot of exposure, had a lot of fun, and also walked away with a skill set uh, that increased, I think, my value to the workforce. I learned how to be a more independent thinker, how to function on my own, um, which I think was a great asset when looking for a job. It could be water, it could be wastewater, it could be road tunnels, railway, and that means both heavy rail and light rail, so things like the SkyTrain here in Vancouver, even things like pipelines or hydropower. So it could really be related to any sort of engineering industry. And the answer is yes. There are so many tunnels, even right here in Vancouver. Um, right now, we're working on the construction and design of multiple tunnels in the city. There's a new tunnel going in right beside one of the bridges between North Vancouver and Burnaby that's being constructed to upgrade some of the drinking water infrastructure in the city.
Well, for me, it ranges quite a bit. Sometimes I work on projects where we're doing high level scoping studies. So for those sorts of things, I'm looking at a whole bunch of different tunnel alignments, usually starting with tools like Google Earth and geology maps of the area to try and pick the best alignment for the tunnel. From there, we move into preliminary design and onto detail design. And when we're doing detail design, uh, I can be involved in things like designing the site investigation program. So that's deciding where we're going to drill boreholes, what sort of samples we need to get, what sort of testing we're going to do to try and figure out what the ground conditions are. So what does it look like underground and what sort of tunneling conditions are we going to go through? What's the best method to build the tunnel? How are we going to support it? How long is it going to take? How much is it going to cost? All those sorts of things go into the design work. Then we go into construction. So as a consulting engineer, often I'm on site during construction, overseeing the contractor to ensure that they're building the design the way we designed it in order, in alignment with the specifications that we've written, uh, aligned to the drawings that we've designed. Then after the tunnel's built, sometimes years later, it needs to be inspected to make sure it's still in good working condition. So we go in, we do assessments of whether it's lined or unlined, um, how much water is coming in, uh, is the lighting still in good condition, is it still stable, is there any rehabilitation that needs to happen. If there is rehabilitation that needs to happen, we design how they're going to do that rehabilitation, when it needs to happen, all those sorts of things. Sometimes, this is my office. And sometimes my office is here in my kitchen. I work in all aspects of tunneling, from assessing different tunnel alignments, to selecting excavation methods like tunnel boring machines, and even doing tunnel inspections. Earlier this year, I flew down to California to lead the inspection of the Foothills Tunnel. Owned and operated by the San Francisco Public Utilities Commission, this 100-year-old tunnel supplies drinking water to the entire Bay Area. Over three days, my team and I inspected over 16 miles of tunnel, wading through water that was up to waist deep, assessing the stability of the excavated rocks and the condition of the concrete liner. We used the observations from our inspection to create a plan to maintain the tunnel for years to come. Pretty cool, eh?